five and six. More than 500 comments have piled up on our Facebook page about what happened at Cleveland Hill Middle School. Call for Action's Al Vauders found out a cafeteria worker tossed out perfectly good lunches because students didn't have enough money in their account. Al made more calls than the story today and learned that the same food service company operates in dozens of schools across Erie County. I didn't believe it. Even before Cleve Hill School Superintendent John McSwan found out about students getting their lunches snatched from them because they owed money on their lunchroom accounts, a sixth grade student at Amherst Middle School had her lunch taken away because she owed money. Amherst Superintendent Laura Chaby told us the girl should have been given a sandwich, but a substitute cafeteria worker sent her away without anything. We're told a friend shared her lunch with the sixth grader. Well, at this time of year, I think districts probably across the state start running into the negative balances on student lunch accounts. And McSwan told us a few days after the Amherst incident, more than a dozen students at Cleve Hill had their lunches snatched by a worker employed by a private food service provider. Had a lapse in judgment and denied approximately 10 to 15 student lunches. Um, and those lunches were disposed of as the students were going through the lunch line. McSwan assured us every one of those students was eventually fed whether they had the money or not. The private contractor in charge of the lunch line blunder, Personal Touch Food Service of Buffalo. A spokesman for the company told us the worker wasn't being mean. He said she was new, didn't know the rules, and has been properly schooled to make sure it doesn't happen again. Al Waters, News 4 at 6.